Unpacking the phrase, huddle up in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got a great topic to discuss that will surely enhance your English communication skills. We're going to dive into the phrase, huddle up, breaking it down so you can understand how and when to use it confidently in everyday conversations. So, stay tuned, and let's get started. Huddle up is a phrasal verb that originated from sports, particularly American football. To huddle up means to come together in a group to discuss something privately or to share information. Imagine players on a football field gathering closely together to plan their next move. That's a huddle. But don't worry, you don't have to be a sports fan to use this phrase. Over time, Huddle up has transcended the field and made its way into everyday English. You might hear huddle up in various settings, not just on the sports field. For example, in a business meeting, a team leader might say, let's huddle up at 3 p.m. to discuss our strategy for the new project. Here, huddle up means to gather together for a discussion or meeting. Or in a casual setting, a group of friends might say, let's huddle up and decide where to go for dinner. In this case, huddle up is an informal way of saying, let's come together and talk it over. Understanding the tone and context of phrases is crucial in language learning. Huddle up is generally informal and is often used to invoke a sense of team spirit and collaboration. When someone says, let's huddle up, they're usually inviting others to join them in a close, collaborative setting to discuss something important or make a plan. That wraps up our exploration of the phrase, huddle up. We hope this has cleared up any confusion and that you feel more confident using this phrase in your everyday English. Remember, language is all about practice. So don't hesitate to huddle up with your friends or colleagues and put what you've learned into action. Until next time, happy learning, and see you in the next video.